Hello, this is Tony Hiller from RealClimateScience.com. The climate guy setting the record straight about climate. On July 4th, 2017, Greenland broke the record for the coldest July temperature ever recorded in the Northern Hemisphere. The temperature dropped down to minus 33 degrees centigrade on the Greenland ice sheet. So how did scientists respond to this? We'll look at that in this video, but first let's look at the facts. On July 4th, 2017, the center of the Greenland ice sheet dropped down to minus 33 degrees centigrade. This was the coldest July temperature ever recorded in the Northern Hemisphere. On the graph on the right, you can see this incredibly cold temperature, and you can also see that the Greenland ice sheet has been extremely cold this summer. Greenland is at peak melt season right now, and temperatures in the center of the Greenland ice sheet have never gotten much above minus 10 degrees Celsius. Not much melting is going to go on at those temperatures. And not only has it been extremely cold in Greenland, but the Greenland ice sheet has gained a near record amount of ice this year. The blue line on this graph from the Danish Meteorological Institute shows the surface mass balance of the Greenland ice sheet since September 1st of last year. The dark gray line shows the 1981 to 2010 mean. What this graph tells us is that Greenland has gained a near record amount of ice over the past year. And we can also see that the ice is melting very slowly. There's been almost 700 billion tons of ice gained since September 1st of last year. So you would expect that honest scientists would excitedly report the record cold and record ice gain. They tell us that the Greenland Armageddon is over and that we don't have anything to worry about. Sea levels aren't going to rise and New York isn't going to drown. We would expect that scientists would tell us that 95% of the Greenland ice sheet has gained ice since September 1st of last year, as shown in this map from the Danish Meteorological Institute. The blue represents areas which have gained ice, and the tiny areas of red are where Greenland has lost ice. Climate scientists being honest people would of course tell us about this, right? Here's the actual Google News Stories from July 5th about the Greenland ice sheet. Scientists grapple with the mysteries of Greenland's melting ice sheet. Sunny summer days fueling rapid Greenland ice melt. Oh my god! Greenland's ice melting faster than previously predicted. Instead of reporting on the record cold and record ice gain on the Greenland ice sheet, scientists are saying the exact opposite. And scientists aren't just doing this in the Northern Hemisphere, they're doing it in the Southern Hemisphere too. New South Wales is also seeing record cold, minus 10.4 degrees Celsius. How did the Australian Bureau of Meteorology respond to this? Well, Jennifer Murohasi reports that they erased the record cold. Jennifer reports that it was the lowest temperature ever recorded in July at minus 10.4 degrees Celsius at Goldburn, and that the Bureau of Meteorology immediately erased the record. So we're seeing record cold in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere, and of course, climate scientists aren't talking about it. Their paychecks depend on keeping global warming alarmism alive. If climate scientists told the truth about climate, they'd be out of business. They wouldn't get any more government grants. They have a very severe conflict of interest. Climate is not predictable, but climate fraud is extremely predictable. Visit Toto on the web at realclimatescience.com. He's been pulling back the curtain on junk science for a long time.